Hi, welcome back to Connector Vision. I'm Mark Dixon, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a fantastic resource that allows users to explore and share any web page they find online, as well as uploaded images, files, and notes that they've got themselves. So let's get started. Firstly, head on over to pearltrees.com and create your free account. Once you've filled in all of your details and you've, you've um, signed up for a free account, the next step is to install the Web Clipper into Chrome. So we just select the Install Web Clipper and we add the extension. And that's it, we're all set. So the first page you're taken to is your, uh, your Pearl Trees homepage and this is where you'll keep your collections together. So we need to create a collection for our resources to go into. So to create a collection you click the big Add button in the middle we create the collection we can give it a title i'm going to call mine teacher tech tips and you can put a you can write tags in there and you can give it a brief um, description if you want so i can put technology enhanced learning tools and then I can select an image for that uh, to use as the album cover for the collection. And I can search on the web for technology. I can scroll down to an image that I like, select that. It takes a couple of minutes for it to be added as the album cover. And select add. So there we go, that is the first of our um, collections. We can create another quick collection and this time I want to call this one starter activities. Quick starters for active learning. And again, we can change the image, search on the thing, see what it throws up first, that will do. Select add. So now we've got two collections here. We've got starter activities and teacher tech tips. We can move these around if we want to reorder them. That's fine. So first off, let's create, get some resources to put into one of our collections. So we're gonna open up a new tab and we're gonna do a search for teacher technology tools. Okay, we've got, so we can look in our Google search and we're gonna select this one, 57 learning technology tools. And if we scroll down this page, it gives us lots of resources that this person's found that they've been using in their classroom. So we can think, well, yeah, that's a, that'll be a good resource for us to keep in our collection. So what we do is we go over to the Web Clipper, which we installed earlier when we started, and we can select Teacher Tech Tips. So it gives you the option of deciding which collection we want to store this website in, and we want it to be in Teacher Tech Tips. So we select that, and then if we press the C, it shows us that we've now got in Teacher Tech Tips, we've got one resource in there. So let's add something else. Let's add a YouTube video. So we go to YouTube, and we can put in there teacher tech tips. And there's different kinds of teacher tech tips videos on there. Like that, we could go to Connectivision, which is our site. Look at one of the videos on there. So learning objective generator, and we can say, yep, we like this video. So we're gonna take that URL here, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the Pearl Trees button, and we're gonna add that to Teacher Tech Tips. And if we go to C, now we've got the YouTube video and we've got a web page. So that's great, that's how you would add um, online articles and um, websites and videos off, uh, from sites like YouTube and Vimeo. So what we need to do next is upload some of your own resources that you might want to share with your learners. So then you're creating a portfolio of teaching resources. So what we do is we press the plus button and this time we select import and then you can import from lots of different places but we're going to import from our computer. So click my computer and I'm going to upload an image. So it's going to be the internet help image and press open. It takes a few seconds and then we've got the image in there. Now we're going to add a Word document. Now it takes a little bit longer to upload the Word document uh, for it to embed the document into the um, collection, but we select the document, select open, 
And there we go. So now what we can do is preview some of these things. So if we go to the website first, so we can, we've got like a quick preview window and if we select it, it will take us back to the website. So it, it's used as, a, as like a live link. Next, we could have a look at the YouTube video. So what's great about um, Pearl Trees is you can actually preview the video in the same space. So I can preview the video here. Welcome to Creative Vision. I'm Mark Dixon. Wow, it's me again. And then uh, we can also have a look at the image as well. When we go to the Word document, you can select that and preview it so you actually see a bigger version in your Chrome browser that, but you, that you can download, but you can also download directly from here as well. So your learners or your colleagues could download your resources straight from there. So this, this could be uh, a, a, a task sheet that they need to, need to fill in, it could be a handout, it could be a, a questionnaire that you've set up for them. So that's how you add resources to your Pearl Trees collection. So that's how you can find stuff on the internet that's out there and you're doing the searching. But what, a really cool thing about Pearl Trees is that it, it connects learning with other Pearl Trees users. And um, you've got a button here, if you scroll over it, it says related collections, but it also gives you an alert here when it finds collections that are related to any of the things that you've put onto, into your collection. So if we select that button, either of those two buttons will take you to this. And you can see in here, there's different teacher resources. It's, so it's using the word teacher, but we've got teacher resources here. And we can think, yep, yeah, we like the look of these things. So let's have a look at some assessment and feedback resources. And it's telling you about Kahoot, which is a quiz, like an online quiz. I like the look of that. So we think, yep, I like that. So what we need to do, if we want to take somebody else's resources from their Pearl Trees collection and add it to ours, so we both got it, we just hover over and we select the plus button there. And again, we choose which um, collection to put it in. So teacher tech tips. And if we go to view now, we've got four things now in our collection. So that's great. So we've got a collection of, of resources and you can add more and more, more stuff to this. But what we really need to do is be able to share that, those resources with our learners and with our colleagues. So what we do to do that, we press the little share button here and there's lots of options to share because it's public at the moment. So if we go to the permalink, this will give you a link that you can copy and paste into an email or paste into some social media and send it out to your learners that way. As long as they've got that code, they can go and find your resources. So if we open up this tab and paste that code in, it will take us straight to that Pearl Trees collection. Now, what if you want your collection to be private? Well, the way that we do that is we select this pencil icon here, select that, and then go to visibility and make it private there. Now, if you want to share it, you need to have that link, otherwise you can't find those resources. So we go back to the share, uh, it gives you fewer choices because you're making it private. So if you go to permalink, it will give you a warning to, here to say, are you sure you want to be doing this? And you're gonna press okay. And now you've got that code. And if I, come out of there and just create an incognito window. So it, does, it can't tell that I'm, I've been there before. And as you can see, it takes me to that page. And I have, this is almost showing as like a hidden student. Uh, so it's asking me to join Pearl Tree. So you don't need an account. Your learners don't need to have an account to be able to access your resources. So that is how you use Pearl Trees to make collections of resources and to create a portfolio of teaching and learning resources.